At Mountain View, we take our youth ministry very seriously, and so we begin each year by taking the staff away on a retreat and undergoing some intensive education in preparation for a whole year of youth ministry. Wait, what about the youth staff? I'm doing cheers for them. Forever for this. I don't this is like, like, oh my gosh. Um, Did you guys see those two cowboys walking around? No. They're walking around. I wanted to be a cowboy. Really? We're going to be cowboys? I thought we were. I don't know. I don't know what the class is going to be. I'm kind of nervous, okay. actually. I thought it was about Jesus. I'm fine, guys. But Jesus is here. Types of kids, we see the same things over and over again. We already have been trained from years and years of experience. Exactly. And where does Steve find these people? It's, it's a little bit scary. We have experts come in and teach on their fields of expertise from around the country. And each of the students prepares for the uh, incredible experience of working in the youth ministry at Mountain View. Because I have prepared and spent many, many years developing this seminar to help all of you to better understand how young people today are communicating through cellular devices where boys and girls would communicate by writing handwritten notes to one another but now these boys and girls are using the cellular devices in a method called text messaging if you would all please open your cellular device <laughs> anyone in here who could possibly give an example of how you may text message your friend on a cellular device asking them to attend the ball retreat perhaps? <coughs> okay, um, young man in the back. Um, OMG BFF <coughs> R U G N G two F A R T. Teams, you gotta make sure you're pumping the latest tunes from your car stereo, all right? What cassette do you have in your car right there? Ooh, Backstreet Boys! Outstanding, you do free walking. Come see me after class, all right? Yes! <clears throat> okay, last and most importantly, you gotta be able to talk like teens today, okay? Let me hear everybody repeat after me. Snap, that was the bomb. Smack, snap, snap that, that was the bomb. The bomb. the bomb! the bomb! Yeah, we'll work on that. <clears throat> Hey dudes, this lesson is about how to not let students run off together. You know those teenagers, their hormones are raging. They'll run off and try to find a rendezvous spot. We must be diligent. Diligent. We must watch out to see what they're doing. There must always be at least 12 inches between all people. You two back there, 12 inches, 12 inches apart. There must be a Bible between you at all times. Thank you. Oh. That's inappropriate, son. Now, 
To demonstrate what I'm talking about, we're going to watch a short video clip in which we see methods of youth ministry breaking apart coupling in action. What? I can't believe it! It's been an intense weekend, but I think we're ready for the challenges ahead as a youth ministry. We'll see if our staff is up to it. Snap! That is the bomb! Let's jump and run with the bucket. 